Howdy YouTube, and it's a pretty decent day in Ohio. We're at 81 today, and I think we're going to be in the upper 70s for the next couple days. Uh, a little partly cloudy, but uh, nothing crazy. I know the weather's strange enough to have these bugs show up again. I hate these things. Yeah, that little bug right there. And I got another one. He's trying to get in right there. Like there's another one that did get in. He's right there. Yeah, these bugs kind of show up and all I do is scoop them up with this thing. Look how many's in here. I've had this for a while now, but if I just shake it and the bug falls in, that's pretty much it. He's stuck in there from now on. Luckily, those things don't stink. I always call them stink bugs, but I don't think they are. All right, what am I doing today other than killing bugs? Dip. Let's show you. What have you been up to? I've been. Riding on a daydream. Well, first I got to go out and get the mail because I've got a package out there, but I'm heading towards the RV. Now, because we're getting ready for our daughter's wedding, um, Heidi's a little on the scatterbrain side, and this one item <laughs> went missing. <laughs> yeah, it's the keys for the RV. So what happened? Yeah, we had to get into the RV, so I had to break through. Now, this door has been an issue for a little while um, for a couple of reasons. So I drilled out the deadbolt. She had the deadbolt locked, and uh, I finally got this latch. I just kind of pried that out. I did dent this in a couple of spots. Not real bad, but enough that it's going to bother me. So I'm going to replace the door latch, and I figured if I'm going to replace the door latch, uh, I'll replace them both because unfortunately the new ones are white. That's Something I couldn't avoid really. I mean, it's one of those things we could I'm sure paint it I, I don't know how long it would last but I'm gonna show you how to replace these and We might have to do something above and beyond normal for uh, this door because the plastic that's on the inside and on the outside Seem to be pretty war, to tell you the truth. We'll, we'll have to see how that works out, but let me go get the stuff and show you what I have, and uh, step by step, let's find out what's gonna take to fix these things. Look at what I received. Now, the links will be down below, like everything I do. Down in the description, if you'd like to get this exact same thing, uh, just click the link, it'll take you right to it. However, um, you need to measure your opening, and they're talking about the opening on the door. That's how these are determined. So let's go ahead and take a look, see how good of this is. You know, they, they look an awful lot alike what I already have. Uh, the one thing that my RV never had is a striker plate on the front. I'm not sure why, uh, but it's always been an issue. And that's basically what this is. This is a striker plate. And the reason they call that is because this piece here strikes it whenever it closes. Um, again, I've never had that. Now, the other reason that I wanted to replace both the front and the rear is because one key opens this, opens this, and opens both on this one. So, I basically have three extra keys. Of course, we'll hide one away somewhere, maybe in the truck. Heidi will have a key, and then we'll put a key on the keychain, and then we'll have one extra one that will be floating around. But... It's pretty straightforward as far as the way these things look and operate. They're all basically the same. And uh, as far as quality, this one does look pretty good. It's got a nice gasket uh, to seal on the outside. But again, I've got some weird things going on with mine. So let's go take a look at that. Let's go ahead and uh, pull that front one off, which is a trouble child. And we'll uh, replace uh, with this, hopefully. So the whole idea was I was installing that door latch on that front door and was going to show you step by step, but that front door was so messed up that it took me all kinds of extra time to get it done. So now I'm going to show you what it's supposed to be step by step to replace a door latch on this RV. So installing a door latch looks like this when it's finished. <laughs> Why didn't I show you all the steps? Well, I've got to show you all the steps on that door because this door, it was a handful. There was a lot of other problems that existed. So let's go back here and I'll show you step by step how to replace 
your door latch with a new one. The first thing you're going to do, real simple, is remove the screws that hold this onto the door, just like you would think. There's two screws here, and there's four screws here. Um, one here, two, three, four. Once you remove all those screws, uh, this mechanism part of it, which is nothing more than the lock, the deadbolt lock, and then the latch, the handle for the latch, um, and then the plate that they're mounted on, this comes off and there's not a lot to it. The, the big part, the mechanism part's on the other side, and then once again, all this is all, you just kind of pry it out. Now the only reason, again, that I'm removing this one and changing it is because the front door and the uh, back latch that I just bought, uh, all the keys are the same. So with one key, I can open the front or the back. That means we have three extra keys because each one of these mechanisms, replacement door latches, came with two keys each. And since they're keyed alike, one key will open all the things. I love that. I love that fact. I mean, we've always had to carry two keys, not a big deal, but uh, if I can do it with one key, that's nice. And we've never had an extra set of key for the RV. Um, every time we go to try to get keys made, it seems like that nobody has the key that we need, the blank that we need to cut. So that's why we're doing this also. Like I said, this works perfect. So I, I hate that it's coming apart, but maybe you'll see it on eBay. <laughs> All right, so now that the four screws are out, you'll see this just comes right off. Nothing fancy about that at all. The uh, company's called Trimark. That's the original equipment this Trimark is. And for it being 1992, it's done pretty well all this what time. What you see here is I'll, I'll go ahead and just pry this out. Pretty simple. And that's it. It's done, it's out. Now you can see here the foam is wore away quite a bit. And this foam, that's the seal. That's the seal that keeps the water out. I'm looking at the wood here, though, and it looks like it's, it's still very good, so no water's ever really gotten in. That, that's, a, that's a plus. <laughs> All right, so the two pieces are still together. You can see the two halves. I'll go ahead and uh, separate them. So now I have that piece that we took off first. And again, nothing fancy here, nothing difficult. You just reverse the procedure. This goes in, and you want to make sure that it lines up pretty darn well and that the foam that foam gasket let me take it out and show you again that this foam gasket all the way around is sealing off very good with the vinyl on the outside of the door that's that's the big plus there that's what you really need to make sure of especially on the top it looks pretty darn good there so what I'll do first is I'll install they give you uh, two screws and a plate for this and then they give you four screws to hold on the uh, other part of the handle to, to put this together. And then they give you a striker plate that goes on to the door. Now, they don't give you the screws for the striker plate because most RVs already have that. The new plate has a section that's countersunk on one side. And the screws that come with the kit, they're just two small screws. You can see they fit in there real nice and flush. So you want to make sure you put on the plate with uh, these counter sinks facing out. Now when you go to reinstall the plate, there's a small side, there's a big side, and in most cases, like in mine, the big side goes towards the inside of the RV, the finished side of the door, the side of the door that sees the inside, and in my case, the bedroom. Uh, as far as screwing it together, you can use a regular Phillips screwdriver, or if you feel comfortable, Go ahead and use a power drill. I've been using one for years, but you got to be careful not to strip things and you get them lined up um, before you tighten everything down or even start the thread. So I don't have it overly tight right now. I have it just tight enough that it's going to kind of hold position because that's really all I want to do is uh, have it hold position for me um, as I navigate this thing together and get the correct height. And again, make sure that that foam is um, sealing off on the outside quite well which looks pretty close to there and uh, yeah that's pretty close so what I'll do is uh, go ahead and start a couple of the screws but I want to tighten this a little bit more to hold it right in position like I said I've got it about where I want it and and the way that I know this I'm looking inside here and looking at how much foam 
is exposed in the hole and I can tell how much is actually covering up on the opposite side. So now that that's relatively snug, I'm going to grab the rest of the screws that are provided in the kit, which look like this here. And this gets a little tricky. You have this latch mechanism here that activates this. You have to make sure that this catch is on this side, meaning this side. And I'm gonna to try to point to it. Maybe you guys can see it a little better in the video. Right here. You need to make sure this piece is right here. And then this piece here is a half moon or a D shape, however you want to look at it. And you have to make sure that your lock, which has a D shape also, matches up with that, which is kind of right about like, let's see, yeah, right there. And then this latch here looks like that's caught. So everything looks like it's lined up pretty well. Now all I have to do is get one of these screws started which could be a little tasking because even though these screws are relatively long you got to figure that that gasket that foam gasket is you know sticking out there um, so it's not necessarily allowing it to line up correctly okay looks like everything's really good here looks like I'm pretty well lined up there I'm gonna go ahead and start a few more screws here um, basically all of them but not tightening any of them you always want to make sure that you basically get everything started before you start tightening. That way you can make all the adjustments that you need and everything you know aligns correctly before you start making anything permanent. Now in my case I can kind of see the door handle, the old door handle was a little bit further down and a little bit further in and when I mean in I mean actually out on the door but into the door frame so uh, I want to make sure that yeah and a lot of that has to do with this here I haven't tightened it yet um, I think it's tight enough I want to try a test close um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to close it and make sure that everything lines up but before I do I'm gonna remove this striker over here and put in the new striker now in every case it's going to be a little bit different and I can tell you right now that this needs to have new holes drilled for the screws to go into. All right, actually I had to do a few different things with these holes to make it work. And that is basically not put it in the center of the hole. It actually wanted to be closer to the top, which I was surprised. Initially, whenever I uh, lined it up, it looked like that it could be lower. And you can see where the striker's hitting. It's, it's you know, in the right place at this point. But yeah, this is uh, quite a bit higher in the hole than I expected and then you have to adjust it in and out uh, to make sure that you get the door to shut the way that you want um, I've already tested it out everything is real nice and tight at this point so let me show you here and that's it I mean it is it's dead on right where it needs to be it's actually better than the front door is which no big surprise seeing how that front door is kind of a disaster but you can change these 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 are not hard to change at all now as far as the ones that are wireless and all that stuff you know I don't trust them yet um, and what I mean by don't trust them is uh, they don't have a great rate of success as far as um, you know responding and I, I don't know what else to say uh, until I find one that's got over 500 reviews and maybe closer to 2,000 reviews that say four and a half stars on Amazon I'm not gonna get them so again I'll put the link down below this is going to be a link for two white latches complete assemblies with keys that match so one key opens all of them as far as I say all of them I mean all the locks all four of the locks whenever you click the link if you need a different color go ahead and check they have black ones they have chrome ones um, and you can also buy individuals if you just need to buy one because you only have one door uh, it, you could you can look in there once like again you click the link it'll take you to the product and then from that point you can start shopping and see which one you want to go with um, but the white ones were the only ones that they had that were key to like so that's the way I went and it's not expensive you're only talking about sixty dollars for two of them um, that's not bad at all I hope this helped you out I know the video went on a little bit longer than I expected I've chopped it up quite a bit because I didn't want to have to show you the entire repair on the front of the uh, RV the front door because it was a mess 
But if you like this video, click like or subscribe. And if you want to continue to see videos from me on a regular basis, I mean, as far as anything I post, you want to be notified, make sure you ring the bell. Click the bell that's down below. If not, you'll just get notified when YouTube thinks you should be notified, regardless if you're subscribed or not. So I appreciate you guys watching. As always, we hope to see you out there. Bye.